Welcome to the final game of the Good Games Adelaide Wave 1 Championship. This game is filmed on the 24th of February 2019, so it's using the, the new points. And this is the final, the final table with both Evan and Scott undefeated on three wins each. We've got Evan playing a Rebel List with Wedge, uh, with Swarm Tactics and the S-Foils. Garvin with Composure and the S-Foils. Red Squadron Veteran uh, with Predator and another Red Squadron vet Veteran with Predator. And that comes in at 193 points. Versing Scott with Vader. Uh, Vader's got Hate, Fire Control System and Afterburners. Duchess with Predator, Fifth Brother and Shield Upgrade. And Suntia Fell with Predator. So that comes in at 189 points, and Scott gave Evan first player. You see, both these lists look pretty interesting. If Evan can keep his kind of block formation, he might be okay. And it, because he just needs that superiority of guns. But then Scott's list is so maneuverable that he can just get past any sort of block swarm and knowing knowing the way that Scott plays he's very he can be very aggressive and he can he'll move very far yeah and I think the um the other benefit that Scott has is obviously the the two ships uh moving last so uh two very maneuverable ships being able to move and outmaneuver uh, Wedge and all those other ships. So Evan's really going to predict where Scott is going. Oh, yeah, definitely. And also, well, yeah, three of Evan's ships move before Scott moves. Yeah. And Duchess with the ability to choose to not Aliens as well. Uh, just her location she can end up is so hard to predict as well and it gives Scott so much information to the end be able to choose that so much better as well yeah I think um, Evan's ideal uh, win here is just being able to get uh, get his ships into a position where he's got a massive arc with all four of the ships uh, so I guess, you know, probably banking in and hopefully catching one or two ships or two or three ships uh, onto one of Scott's ships. Yeah, definitely. Um, looking at that rock formation as well, that kind of hinders Evan quite a lot. Just looking at where Scott's going to go, he's probably going you know, to fly straight through that those asteroid field area and use them as cover and while Evan's going to have to sort of now chase around and especially having that large rock and you know he's just boosted up forward yeah but I can see that Duchess will do the bank three straight get out of there yeah I wonder if a um a boost left would have been a better option just in the sense that you'll be able to sort of like this, you have a much wider angle yeah. to catch Scott in. Uh, I don't think Scott will be stupid enough to, <laughs> to fly in, but um, it definitely would get a larger angle. Oh yeah. Yeah, so he's getting out of there. Yes. Yeah. And Scott's probably going to be pretty aggressive with his two, with Vader yeah. and Sintia. Yeah, Vader and Sintia now and be getting in sort of a better position to then try to flank. Yeah. As Evan has kind of taken the bait of trying to chase Duchess. Straight on like that. And so if he'd moved in through those rocks straight up, he 
he then would have been in a better spot to chase because now his one uh, what they call ship one and two at the front are now really limited on with where that rock is. So he could probably do, he might be able to do like a two bank boost around uh, with that top ship. At least he can get around that rock. A three bank? Two could do. Oh, he has okay. done a three bank. Yep. Okay, well, there you go. Three bank. Three bank boost would probably get him around that rock nicely. And that should set him up well for the next turn as well. Yeah. So it looks like he's focused and then linked into yep. the boost. Well, this is actually interesting that if Scott has turned Sunti into those rocks, that then gives him a really good position for next turn. Yeah. To try to, like, block in Sunti a bit. And as long as he can capitalise on where Sunti is going. But then also Sunti could just do that five straight through that little gap and then boost just to make sure he gets around the back of him. Yeah, so he's keeping his arcs really wide open here, which is good. Yeah. Hoping to catch one of the, at least one of uh, Scott's ships in there. Yeah. But I think that's the thing is... Um, Evan doesn't really want Scott to have more than one ship firing at one of his ships at a single time. Yeah, I guess. Because uh, those ships can hit hard. But saying that, X-Wings can also do the same. Hmm. And the X-Wings kind of have a bit more... Sometimes of survivability. Uh, Sunti can just be very temperamental of in a bad position. Yeah. So Evan's really setting up his kill box here. And I think he's in a pretty good position for next turn as well. So I think here with Suntir, um, no matter what he does, he's probably going to get shot at by at least one ship. Well, yeah, doing that. Hmm. Garvin's in the front. Yeah. Ooh. He's trying to sort of dodge that wedge shot, maybe. I don't know. Yeah. That's... Because... Um... That's going to be close. And yeah. that may have been four ships. So that barrel roll may have put him in range of four yeah. ships or arc of four ships. I'm not sure about number one, but it looks like Garvin, number two, and possibly Wedge all have shots on him. Well, this is interesting. I wonder if he can get the lock. Oh, looks like, looks like it's just, just in. Or was it just in? Oh, no. Yeah, oh, yeah, that's just been in. So yeah, Garvin's swarm tactics up to six. Yeah. And Suntir takes his focus. Oh, that was pretty lucky. Yeah. Being able to yeah, spend his focus. So that's nothing. So. Oh, is he? Oh, yeah, just had him. So 3v3. Ooh. <laughs> that's unfortunate. Yeah, and that was kind of that perfect spot yeah so it's range two yeah he gets his predator 
And that's a hit hit crit. Cool. So two shields on number one. And Vader shooting there, spending his lock. So it looks like it's three hits. Yep. And Wedge takes two shields. <laughs> Yeah, it's not going well for Evan now. No. It's a lot of damage to... So... Yeah, so no no damage to the <laughs> Sim tier in that, and uh, four damage to, to his sh uh, X-Wings. Yeah. And that was like a perfect spot to try to punish uh, Sim tier, and he just... I think it probably a bit of bad roll on wedge, and then yeah, not getting the enough sort of hits. Yeah, it's always the frustrating <laughs> part of X Wing. Yeah, but uh, I think that you know, I'm pretty sure if we we're tracking the dice averages in here, it'll be uh, it all even out in the end. Yeah. Yeah. So now here it's interesting where. Evan will probably want to go. Yeah, so he's sort of blocking in there. Probably try to catch Vader if he comes in. Because you know that Sinti is going to... It's bugging out. Yeah. So okay. Sinti won't have shots. I'm guessing... Oh, no barrel roll. Oh, that's... <laughs> that's ballsy. Yeah. Live life. Dangerously. So now if he's done the... He might be able to get around. Oh, okay. So Duchess is, is out of it. Yeah, Duchess is really saying out. I thought he would have nearly like hard turned in to bring Duchess in. Yeah. So that could be a downside to, to Scott as well, mm. is that it's very much about the damage race and oh yeah, not having a ship firing is going to hurt. Yeah. Because that having fifth brother, predator and shield upgrade, that's an expensive Duchess that has just kind of flown around and Hasn't done, I think, yet. It's a much more tanky Duchess as well. Yeah, so. oh, definitely. There's a thing, you could you could have hard turned in and then just go on the focus, leave the focus for, for defense. If, but he's not really going to be focused. I think he's going to focus fire on, on Vader. Yeah. So, I th think that might be Australia. straightforward. Yeah. Yeah, I think he he would have seen. Oh, because he was stressed. I was like, yeah. wouldn't the K-Tone be the better option? But Yeah, Sinti always stressed. <laughs> and so now you, you just boost around, chase them. I don't know about taking a token though. I don't see the because it looks like a focus token. So yeah, there's no. I thought the boost down would have actually been the better, better move. You just do the one boost and then you can hard turn around. Yeah, I think that would have been a good idea, um, and it would have probably got some to in maybe a turn earlier. Yeah. Because it's now, if he, yeah, he's still got a hard turn, but, you know, it's not so that you have to boost to just be able to get that shot, because now he could have been in a position where he could have hard turned, boost, 
next turn and then he would probably have shots. Yeah. So it looks like Vader took a shield just then. Oh, yeah. And now it looks like Garvin is taking a crit. I think it was a fuel leak. Which is fuel leak. Two hits first. One more shield on uh, Vader. Yeah. And that's three hits. And he evaded that. <laughs> yeah, that was that was what I felt like playing against this list as well. Was just Scott just felt like he was evading everything. Um, but then again, I was mostly firing unmodded two dice and three dice attacks at him. So there's also that. Yeah, it's it's always that difficult thing of having like sort of unmodified shots. You just can't do. Yeah, now here, I wonder where Vader, Vader seeing this sort of blocks coming in. Is Vader just going to get out? You would, you'd think so. But I mean, uh, Evans also blocked that up a little bit. Vader might have a hard time getting out of there easily. Yeah, true. Yeah, especially where that rock is. Yeah, if he's worried about it. But at the same time, we were talking, I think, in the last game, Scott played the whole uh, three and then uh, afterburners boost and... Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Hey, that is actually probably not... If he does go over the rock. A, yeah. A good move. I can't tell. I think yeah. he would have. Maybe he didn't if they're talking about going yeah. over. Hmm. He mustn't have gone over the rock. Hmm. That was lucky. Ooh. Well, yes. Yeah, so I'm guessing some two will boost here. Yeah. Is that going to fit? <laughs> yeah, it probably just hits. That's a good move. That looks like it may have got number two or not. Mm. Yeah, but the problem is, well, he could probably just roll, roll well, but he's got no mods and he should be stressed. Yeah, he should be stressed. Because he's just... He'll probably pick that up later. So a shield off of Duchess. Okay, well, that's up to... Too bad, but Ooh, that yeah, poor Evans having a lot of like spread, spread damage. Yeah. So that looked like some two was out. Because Duchess is shooting him. Oh. <laughs> so Predator and he spent a force for three hits. Oh. Well. Uh, that would be a crit. Yeah, for a crit. Yeah. Oh, then. Oh, oh yeah. Oh. So there goes Garvin. Was it Mitch or Garvin? Garvin. Sorry. Ah, oh, yeah, the fuel leak. And that looks like it's just out.
Yeah. So the, I think they're just trying to figure it out, and um, it sounds like maybe the nubs are just in. Uh. Oh, it's, it's out. Well, well, if the nubs are just in, then it is in. So that's four, four hits. So he took a hit crit. Ouch. Wounded pilot. <laughs> oh, not two wounded pilots. <laughs> yeah, so it's interesting. So Evans got... lost one ship, but they're fairly close in points. Yeah. I think if Evan uh, Scott can... would have um one more afterburners. I think he used one earlier. I'm not too sure. I think he, he used one in his like opening sort of area, like trying to get Vader in. Possibly. I'll I'll put that down at one and we'll see. But yeah, I think if Evan can get maybe one ship off before he loses another ship, then he's probably got the advantage. Yeah. Yeah, true. Yeah. Evan has to be able to uh, get a ship off. And that, I think that Talon roll from number two was a good move just then. Hmm. It's going to be interesting what Cynthia's done. If Cynthia's tried to go fast, get out of there, he would have just, if he can cause that bump on the straight, yeah. then that X-Wing would have a, a Predator role and has a focus. Oh, that's a, have a scary spot for poor Duchess. <laughs> But I also think number two is probably going to have Vader in arc as well. So. Yeah. Oh, yep. So he wants to run away. Ah, yep. So he took a stress from, from that action. Oh, that's, yeah. That's Not really weird. That's Vader bad for Vader. Vader. That's really bad for Vader. Stressed facing and, the corner. And Scott just said that he completely forgot about it, so <laughs> Yeah, actually that's a really bad position for Vader to turn around in. Well in that point. I think Scott probably should have probably could have barrel rolled oh. or like done the evade. Four hits. Wow. I think that was a dead soon too. Oh wow. And now Wedge is doing four into <laughs> Striker. And that's three hits on uh, three hits on Duchess. So yeah, it's a pretty sway game at the moment. So that looks like three hits. Oh, hit crit on number two. Just two shoots. And so that's hit hit crit, I think. Well yeah, this this turn has really turned around for Evan. We're doing a lot of damage. Yeah. 
getting touches now on one, uh, Vader on one. But so, Panic Pilot was one of the crits. <laughs> Well, it's interesting though where where uh, what's his name Duchess can actually go though if he wants to clear that stress. And that was yeah, Sunto, Sunto dead. Yeah, Sunto dead. Wow. Oh, and he's still got his one. No, no, that no. was nothing. <laughs> it, was, <laughs> it looked like it was two blanks and a focus. Two blanks and focus. Yeah. Yes, I think Evan is in a very good position here. Oh yeah, definitely. So he's got two X wings which can chase a stressed um, Vader. So he could pretty much just go one bank on both of them. Wedge is probably gonna chase a stressed Vader as well. Yeah, chase Vader into that corner. Oh, huh. interesting. Oh, okay, um, maybe he's trying to take down Duchess. Okay. Yeah. He wants to apply pressure to Duchess. Ah, okay then. He isn't chasing Vader at all. I thought that, yeah, that would have been a perfect time to just chase. Uh, so Chase he's Vader in. Yeah. choosing to do his adaptive ailerons, which yep. he can do even while stressed. Yep, so bump in there. And yeah, I was like, he'd probably do the the three bank, or the two bank, which would be blue, I'm pretty sure, on, on them. Yeah. Oh, he's doing it too <laughs> hard. He's not Is worried about the On stress. the rock? I think so. Is he gonna is he gonna kill himself? Yeah. Let's just live dangerously. Yeah. Oh, blank. <laughs> Cause that is yeah, fifty percent chance of killing yourself. It's a yeah. a good bet. Cause I'm guessing they uh they, Wedge does it too, yeah. Uh, I think I have one and two around the wrong way. <laughs> yeah, clear that stress. Probably clear the yeah, clear the crit. Then do your force to yeah, get your focus. But I think he's. He's probably in a good spot. He might be fine. Definitely for now, him. he's good. Oh, yeah, he's just just out. out. Yeah, so he gets a range three, but no mods. <laughs> three hits. <laughs> yeah. Duchess is dead. <laughs> So Vader, Vader's got a lot of work ahead of him. Yeah. Well, now he, if Evan is just really cagey with these uh, two X wing, cause them, like, chuck them in spots to cause blocks or uh, just be annoying. For covering of a board area, which Vader might try to go to. Yeah. I nearly would have thought just do the too hard, keep your stress, and be on the that inside of that rock. Yeah, because I guess the more guns and the more pressure you can apply to Vader, yeah, the harder it's going to be. Obviously, he's going to be regaining. Actually, hate doesn't matter anymore if he's only on one hole. So yeah, yeah, he's on one hole. If he takes that one damage, he's done. 
And so now here. I think Evan's flipping the crit. Oh, took a focus instead. Oh, he must have had a wounded pilot as well. Ah, uh, okay. Yes. Too hard. That was a bit sloppy. <laughs> 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 Barrel rolls in. And yeah, if he's dodged wedge, Wedge's arc, because right there he could have had the other X Wing. It would have been stressed, but he would have just, you know, taken that range one. Yeah, he wouldn't have had mods, but that's not something that Vader really wants to be really facing. Yeah. But now you can. So that's three. Four. Oh, oh, yeah. So he's got three pain. So he spends all his force. Yeah, so they're doing the, the right thing and marking it. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like you he, he dodged. Yeah, that's good. So he's shooting number two. Yep. The fire control. Yep. Yeah, so two hits and a crit. And blank, well, not blanks out, but focus and a blank. Hmm. So that is the end oh. of number two. So it's destroyed that one. Yeah. Because he took a damage going over the rock. Ah, uh, okay then. If he didn't take that damage, he would have would have survived. Yeah. So now here it's a bit... Yeah, he's got to be slow with this X-Wing. Try to apply some pressure. To where back where he thinks Vader was going to try to go to. So oh, it's yeah. here. There's wedge. 4K. Yeah, four K. Try to create a bit of a kill box that where Vader will go. <clears throat> but then it's also really possible that if he's still got an afterburners. Oh no. no. Oh yeah, he's just just done it. Yep. The final afterburners. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, and he's just dodged. Yeah. And now having that sort of range one shot. Yeah. Which is exactly what Vader wants. Yeah. Spent the target log for one. Oh, and that's... he was safe. <laughs> that's disheartening. Yeah. Yeah, you spend it. So hit crit crit. Oof. Yeah, that's gonna that's gonna hurt. I think Irvin's just discussing the uh, the ability with Vader. Oh, uh, yep. Um, so he was asking about the advanced targeting computer. I think it was the the previous ruling on it um, from one point oh. Oh, okay. That yes. he was confused with. Yep. So that used to be you'd. Yeah, you could. Uh, you couldn't spend the lock to change it. So 
So this will be an interesting, interesting turn as well. I'm guessing number one will do a 4K, and uh, Wedge will probably do a two or three straight to clear the stress. Yeah, so that sounds like it's a 4K with number one. Oh, which is only doing a one straight. I guess taking it fairly easy to make sure he's definitely got Vader and Ark. So is locking number one. Yeah, good idea getting out of the way. Nobody's in range, looks like. I think it would be a pretty conservative move there. Yeah, one bank and then maybe a two or a three bank from Wedge. It's probably worth taking a lock with one of them, I would think, at this moment. Yeah, so it's interesting now with um, coming in slow like that. Yeah, I think he's just trying to get the moist guns on him at once, but with number one and one health left, I think it's pretty likely one will be killed before, before it gets to shoot. So, yeah. What's good? That's right, yeah. Yeah, what Scott's doing here is just trying to get it so only one is in arc and range. Yeah. And then hopefully get rid of number one before Wedge can shoot. and Then it'll be an interesting match. <laughs> oh, does he have blind um, weapons failure? Is it the only role? He to... must have flipped his S foils because he uh, barrel rolled. Yes. No. Oh. No, no, they've got barrel on only. Uh, maybe his S foils are flipped. I'm not sure. Yeah, he might have flipped them just to. He might have thought about boosting. So. So hit, hit, crit. Wow. <laughs> One evade. Oh. I think that's dead. Yeah. Yeah, so now this is really turned. And now this is, like, Scott's now up on points. Yeah, it's... But in that situation, does... Does he just go... Go in and hope for that sort of roll, or does he try to run away now? Like, he could probably... Too hard barrel roll away. Yeah. I'm not sure how much time is left, but yeah. you'd think running would be the same mm. option. Well, because being right in front of, of Wedge, you're going to drop your agility. He doesn't have enough force. And it's really interesting. Um Ooh. Even the barrel roll there is oh, just out of arc, yeah. And that looks just out as well. But yeah, that was a risky move because if, 
if Wedge had him in arc, that would have been a that would have been a bad time because no force to to spend. And now Scott, probably yeah, not knowing on how much time is left, but if he's going for that win, he'd just run, just yeah. run away now. I think Scott's another one of the players that tends to try to play out the game rather than yeah. run away. <laughs> but with that said, the probably the best move would to would be to to run. But yeah, doing the four K, he's got his lock. If they're in range, it's going to be interesting. Yeah, it is in range. Range oh. is obstructed. Oh wow! Yeah. And Scott's got probably one force. Yeah, one force. Yeah. Two hits. Ooh. And that was, he spent the force <laughs> and it was nothing. Well. Target lock. Four hit crit. Oh, oh, oh. Bit scary for Wedge. <laughs> They're saying those those rolls are always the scariest because like, <laughs> you're unmodified and you know you should be safe, but there's still the chance that you roll four blanks in a Oh, he got the stress before getting he could link. Yeah, that's un unfortunate. Yeah. Now. Oh, that is close. Oh, he must have had must have had two force. Or one oh. other force that last turn. Oh, okay then. Because he spent a force for a focus and spent a force for a barrel. Okay. Two hits. <laughs> Dead Vader. Oh, wow. <laughs> so three hits into Wedge. Oh. Oh, well, that's, yeah. And that's. Can we pretty close? Apparently a dead wedge. A dead wedge? Wow. So I think <laughs> I think we uh we had the hull wrong on wedge then. Oh you only had one. One hole wedge versus a one hole Vader. Wow. Yeah, that was that would be very tense. And now it's down to final salvo. <laughs> So it sounds like Evan got seven. Okay, yep. So so Evan won. Because it looks like Scott wow. only got two. Yeah. <laughs> Ouch. Well let's think, yeah. Evan's list, he's sitting on twelve. And then Scott would get uh, eight. Yeah. Well, yeah, it's interesting sort of coming down to the the wire like that and actually getting that uh, both initiative six. Yeah, really, really interesting match there. Um, I guess it was pretty well fought from both sides. Yeah. So both uh, flew very well. Yeah. I think uh, it was definitely on Evan to fly better than Scott. So oh, yeah, I think, definitely. I think the whole game there, it was Evan needed... Evan couldn't drop his game. Um, but I guess if Duchess was in the fight earlier as well, maybe that would have been better for Scott. Oh, yeah, definitely. He needed... Only having those three ships, he needed to get it as much damage through as possible. Because... When you think about it, if uh, Duchess was able to do one damage 
a turn earlier, that probably would have had the same effect and got rid of all of Evan's ships before Vader died. So, yeah, so, yeah, definitely. It's an interesting. Thanks everyone for watching. Uh, that was the final game, and Evan won the tournament. We will have another set of games from the Wave 2 Championship at Hobby Matrix, uh, which we'll be recording pretty soon. Thanks for watching. Thank you.